What's up? All right, here we go. Something that I'm excited to talk to you about because this is something I don't think you guys have ever seen before. It is called this. The question is, how do you find the area of what we call a sector of a segment? And then the second part of this is going to be, how do you find the area of what we call a segment of a circle? Pretty cool. Two things that you've actually never seen before. Um, so let's go to this. Recall <laughs> the area of a circle formula is just apple pies are squared. Apple pies are squared. So A equals pi times radius squared. And remember, when we talk about area, whether it be of a rectangle, any type of a polygon, it doesn't matter. It is the amount of square units you can fit into the circle or the region as we talk. So in this section, we're talking about circles and things with circles. So when you get a number for the area of a circle, it means it's a number of the little square units that you can place inside of that circle. So if you get 200.3 something units squared, it means you're going to be able to put 200.3 little square units into that circle. Now, here's your definitions that you need to write down of what a sector compared to a segment is. A sector, you can see the picture looks like this. But what it says, <laughs> a sector is a region of a circle that's bounded by two radii and the intercepted arc. So this is it. There's your circle, there's your two radii, and there's the actual arc. So basically a good way to think about a sector, if you think of a whole entire pizza, a pie some people call it, but a pizza, and you take one of those slices of pizza, that thing right there is a sector. So when you're down at lunch line today and you get your pizza, think of it that way. It's called a sector. So there's your sector. It can be a big half, of, it can be a whole half of the pizza, it can be a sixth of it, it can be an eighth of it, we'll talk about that. But that's what a sector is. A segment, don't think it's a little straight little line, because it's not, although that is what it is when we talked about the whole entire year. When we talk about a segment of a circle, it looks like this, right there. So the definition, segment, is a region of a circle bounded by a chord and its intercepted arc. So it looks like this. It's a region, the stuff in green. It's the arc and the chord. So the chord kind of cuts off that section, if you will, of the circle, and that piece right there, some people call it the thumbnail of the circle, whatever, it's a way to think about it. It's not the whole piece of the actual uh, pizza. It's not even really the crust, if you look at it. It's not the crust. It's the actual, cut that off like a thumbnail part of it, of the actual circle. That's called the segment. That's called the sector. We're going to find the area of this sector, how to find the area of any sector, and how to find the area of a segment. That's rock and roll. Now, before we do any of this, I'm going to try to set the stage for you here. Forget the circle. I had to kind of outline a, a wicker basket, hence is why it's going wee, 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 whatever. So here we go. Let's say the area of this entire circle is somewhere around approximately 200. Now, I'm only using 200 because it's an easy number to kind of deal with to set the stage for you. You're never going to get, it. by the way, an answer of a circle that's exactly 200, ever. It's a good rhetorical question. Why is that? Um, so that's rock and roll. Let's say that all of this circle right here, I would be able to put 200 little units squared into the circle. So if I found the area of the circle by doing apple pies are squared, like this, whatever the radius is, phenomenal, by the way, you can figure that out besides the point. You can figure out this area is 200. So what if I do this? What if I take this 200, this whole entire area that's 200, and I take and I say, you know what? Let me just do this. Let me cut this pizza directly in half. It's a pretty good line. If I cut this pizza directly in half, what does that mean the area is going to be? Well, if I take 200, which is the all the area of this entire pizza, or the entire pizza, the entire circle, I take 200 and I actually cut that directly in half because what I'm looking at is, if you will, this section right here. Uh oh, wait a minute. I'm actually looking at that sector. It's a region bounded by two radii, happens to be the diameter, and this particular arc. So that sector would have to be one half of the overall area of the circle, which makes sense. Because 200 is the overall area, half of that would just be 100. That's exactly what I did down here. You're taking half of the overall area, pi r squared, of this entire circle. Let's keep going. What if I now took this circle, semi-quasi-circle, whatever, and I took and drew a line across this way. 
So now I'm taking this circle, another good line, I'm taking this circle and I'm dividing it into four equal parts. So what if I wanted to try to find this? Just that sector right there. Well, wait a minute. Remember the overall area of the entire circle again was 200. So if I just wanted to find 200, great, but I don't, I want to find really this piece right there. Well, what is it? Well, it's really kind of taking this whole 200 and saying, well, wait, this is 50, this is 50, this is 50, and this is 50. So I'm taking the 200 overall area of the circle and dividing it into four equal parts. Huh, that's what I did right here. It's one fourth of the overall area of the circle, which would just be 50. Okay, let's keep rolling. What if I, oh, you see it up there on the top left. What if I drew a line right through there, and then I drew a line right through there? Uh-oh. Now what I've done, I've taken this overall pizza and divided it into eight equal parts. So what I've actually done is taken the overall 200 area, and let's say I would only want this piece. What if I just want that sector right there and find the area of it? Well, you're actually taking 50, which is this quarter, and dividing into two equal parts. Or overall area of 200, I'm actually taking one eighth of the overall area because I'm only looking at this sector right there. So that area, of course, would just be 25. So to set the stage for you, what you're trying to do when you're finding the area of a sector, you actually have to figure out how much of the overall circle that you're looking at, what fraction of the overall circle you're looking at. Am I looking at an eighth of the circle? a fourth of the circle, a half of the circle. You could be doing two thirds of the circle. You could be doing one sixth of the circle. You could be doing one fifth of the circle. It depends on the question and we're gonna to get to that. But that's the overall idea behind finding the area of the sector. You take the whole area of the circle and then you say, okay, I don't want the whole area. Do I want half of it, a fourth of it, eighth of it, or so on and so forth. So here's how you find the area of a sector. The actual formula slash theorem in and of itself is this. So we got sector. It is theorem 108, and it says the area of a sector. This is exactly how you find it. You take pi r squared, that's the area of a circle, and here's the fractional piece that I was telling you about. You find the measure of the arc, and you put that over 360. And that's going to tell you exactly what the fraction of the circle that you're looking at. So let's do an example. Down here, you see circle O. Well, that's supposed to say circle where I'll change it. Circle O, lovely. There's circle O. <laughs> the diameter of this particular circle O is eight. This angle C in here is 60 degrees. That seems something important. And I'm finding the area of that particular sector. So this red piece right there, I wanna find how much area that sector's covering. Well, let's use the formula. I have pi r squared, pi, oh, oh, I don't have the r in here. What's the radius? The diameter is eight, be careful. The diameter is eight, so that means the radius has to be four. So I put four right there. And now what I have to do is figure out this piece that goes on top of the 360. It happens to be up here, the measure of the arc. Well, what's the measure of the arc? Oh no, we don't have it. Yeah, we do, look. That right there is a central angle. And if you recall, the central angle measure is exactly the same as what the measure of the arc is. So that is 60 degrees. Sweet, so we got 60, that goes right there. Lovely. So the measure of the arc is 60 degrees, 360 the bottom piece. So that tells me right there what fractional piece of the overall circle's area that I want. And I want the whole area. I want a fractional part of it, the sector part of it. So if I reduce this down, 60 over 360 goes to 1 sixth. 4 squared gives me 16. So then I take 1 sixth times the 16, which gives me 16 over 6 pi. And then my answer, when I reduce the 16 and the 6, by dividing the top by three and the bottom by three, that gives me eight thirds pi r squared. Whoa, whoa, eight thirds pi unit squared. That is your answer. Now notice the directions here didn't say rounding it to the nearest tenth. I, you, you will always do this. If it doesn't say that, you must leave your answer in terms of pi, which means pi will be in your answer. So as you see, eight thirds pi unit squared. So there's an example of sector. Let's move on to segment.